Oh my word. Bright blue. Oh, isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Why are they blue? See, these, I think, are like making it out like, oh, they're not spicy at yeah. all. They've got like stuff on them, like sugar. Yeah, that's the spicy crystals. Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back trying beers and snacks. Yeah, always exciting day on this channel when we get to try beer. Yep. Kate loves it, I love it. Let's get into it. This box is part two of, I think, four. You think four? <laughs> I think it's gonna be four boxes. Yeah. Uh, from the lovely Christina Marie and Sean, our friends from Florida. Yeah, who were the first people to ever send us yep. an American candy box. Two slash three years later, we're still doing it. Thanks to all of you wonderful people who have sent us a box. We have sent Sean and Christina Marie a box of British candy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Another thing that's pretty awesome is we were sent these shirts. Yep. These are actually from Sean's um, job. He works yeah. with Budweiser and we've got awesome merchandise. Merch, we've got the merch on. Shall we crack in? Let's crack straight in because I'm okay. excited. I'm really excited. Shall you we wanna start? pick the beer and I'll pick the first okay. crisp. Oh, this one's upside down. That's so cool. I oh, know. is this stone brewing? Oh, it is, yeah. Why, what's that mean? Oh no, I just know that brand. Do they always have it upside down? No, this is a stout. Ooh, brewed with chocolate and coffee. Mm, mm. We'll save that for Yeah, I didn't think you liked stouts that much. I do, I do sometimes, it depends on the stout. Independent. Let's do these light fruity ones first. Okay, yep. And then we'll move up. Should we try the bush light apple first? Yes, I think there's more chance of me liking these first two, yeah. I think. So this looks really good, doesn't it? This yep. is bush light apple limited edition. Yeah, so limited edition, so they mustn't have had it all the way, all no. the time. And I wonder if they still have it now. That's generally what limited edition means. No, yeah. but I'm, <laughs> anyway, and I'm choosing with that to go for these Arizona combo tray. It's nachos and cheese dip. How awesome is that with tortilla chips? Isn't this just screaming like I'm at the cinema vibes? Yeah. It's like a tray. So I love the fact I'm on the beer, I'm choosing the beer, and you are choosing what food to yeah. pair with it. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oh my word, there's always a snack yeah, for a beer. Exciting. Yes. So today's pairing, I've started us off with a nacho cheese, cheese dip because I, I like think it'll be really nice there. with the apple. With the apple flavour. Yeah. Is this Arizona as the in? The drinks. Yeah. I think so. Like Arizona green tea. Isn't that awesome? Well, it looks exactly the same, it does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? I just think their branding's always awesome. It's really yeah. quite retro style, isn't it? And it's something that hasn't really come over here. So no. a lot of stuff from America has made its way over here. So we're a bit more used yeah. to seeing it. Whereas Arizona, we Arizona, although I did see it in Home Bargains what? in Liverpool, yeah, some green tea. No. Yeah. Oh my word, peel off cover, place in microwave approximately 30 seconds. Okay, well, we've got to we've do, gotta that, do that. Peel here to remove cover. Oh. This is cool, isn't it? What a good idea. This is like you were saying, it's like cinema. It really is. I love the little tray. Nachos and dip. I'm surprised. I thought <laughs> this was going to melt. All I heard was like crackling and all yeah. in the microwave, but it seems to have just heated that. I don't think that. so, because just think when people have ready meals, They're it's in, in a like plastic. a plastic pot, yeah. isn't it? Right. Mm. <laughs> That's nice. Just like cinema. Mm -hmm. All right, nachos and cheese dip. What a good idea. I wonder mm. if this brand do other like food items or if this is it. Yeah. It'd be a bit weird just if you just did, did one item. I thought they just did green tea. Mm. 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 The dip's good. Good flavour, isn't it? On the scale of nacho flavour, mm. it, it's quite like fake tasting compared yeah. to the um, frito lay. Yeah, look at it there. Like bright orange. But, you know, it's really good. Mm. I'm sure you can have it without the microwave. Oh, yeah. I just don't think it'd be as good without the microwave. How was the beer? Have you tried it yet? I haven't tried it yet. Mm -hmm. Wanted to save it until you were here. Cheers. It smells very apple. The apple smells really strong, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Is it a lager? Yes, light lager with natural flavours. So basically, it's a bit like a Bud Light, which is a very light beer with apple flavour. What is like a Corona Light? Is that like, like a lager? It's like a light I feel like lager. if I'm going to get into beer, mm. it would be via the lager light fruity ways. Yeah. That is delicious, isn't it? You can almost not taste lager there. I can, you but can. I didn't think you would be able to. It's kind of on the back end, but the apple is really mm. delicious, isn't it? Lovely, delicious apple flavor. The smell, you can't even smell any beer. Yeah. But you can taste it. To me, that's almost like not drinking beer at all. 
wonder what percentage that is, because mm. that could be really dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. 4.1%. Whoa, that's more than a can of Fosters. Is it? What's Fosters? Four. Is it? The fact that that's light and apple. Yeah. That's really easy to just mm. drink. I bet like a lot of younger people starting yeah. their drinking journey mm. will like get onto yeah. it via that, won't they? It's like a it, cider. Yeah. It's almost less hard than a cider. Mm. It's like, it almost tastes like you're drinking a soft drink. Yeah. With that's Yeah, it's 4.1%. So on a really hot nice day you could accidentally drink so, so many, many of those, of those. Mm, i delicious. can still taste the beer but it's still refreshing the apple flavor is really nice mm. so i actually really like that what are yeah. you giving that it's strange because it wouldn't be normally the type of beer i would drink no you don't usually go for lagers but it's really delicious so i have to give it like a nine out of ten yeah that's really good mm. really like that and this tray i just the whole premise of this i'm yeah. giving 10 out of 10 yeah. i know that could be better but i really like that these are in little rings and there's yeah. a dip there that's like a product to yeah. like go with like beers and stuff it's great isn't it yeah. it's 10 out of 10 how cool is this build your own six pack of beer today total wine and more so that's where they obviously got oh, it that's cool. the brewery district dogfish head why well, do i I've feel like that, i've heard of I've that. Had that oh yeah you've had ho garden liberty ale i feel like i've heard of some of these a lot of these. yeah remember when we were in la i had dogfish head yes. at, um that. well i bought some from that beer place but i also got some 90 minute ipa that's literally one really? i had what was it what's that place called no vacant Vacancy. That's what I drank oh, there. Oh, really? Mm. Moving on, are you going strawberry beer next? Yeah, let's go strawberry. I wonder if I'm going to prefer the strawberry or mm. the... Uh, and I think we go Cape Cod. Yes. I love this bag. It's so pink. I know. I've never seen... Is it for a special reason? Oh, oh. it is. Proudly supporting Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Yeah, I wondered. Obviously, it's, it's the same so print as their normal stuff but it's so different the color i thought it was because it's pink himalayan salt oh. but i wonder if they've done pink himalayan salt to fit the with the cancer, cancer yeah. oh yeah support breast cancer ah. research so it says um we're proudly giving five percent of the proceeds of this purchase to support breast cancer research that's awesome yeah well done cape cod all right give me your little oh yeah tap me up thank you smell the strawberry but it's um a lot lighter smell than mm. apple I'm not getting any strawberry. Really? Yeah. I'm getting strawberry. It's much lighter in flavor. The strawberry is much lighter. And so you can taste more of the beer, mm. although the beer is also very light. Yeah, you can really taste that beer. Right, I'm going in. Mm. So what flavor are these again? Pink Himalayan salt and red wine vinegar. These are the closest to our salt and vinegar crisps that mm. I've tasted. They taste very British, mm. don't they? Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Often salt and vinegar in America yeah. is very different to us, whereas this tastes a lot more like us. These are absolutely delicious. Mm. Cape Cod chips have been some of our favorite chips ever, yeah. but I think this might be our, my favorite flavor of theirs. Yeah. I'm so surprised by that because you would mm. never pick salt and vinegar. No, but I'm getting more into this type of salt and vinegar. Mm. This more like- With the red wine yeah. vinegar. These are really good. They're not too punchy. And they're not too like mellow. Though not gonna lie, I like a bag of salt and vinegar where my tongue is in agony afterwards. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Well, that's like when I go to um, our uncle George's house mm -hmm. and we have a few beers. He always has salt and vinegar crisps. Who loves salt and vinegar? And they he? are the tangiest. Which ones? I think he gets it's the like, co-op. Oh. Um, ones that are like fancy style. Marks and Spencer's ones are so mm. powerful. With Chris though, it really does fit a beer, doesn't mm. it? It makes them, because they're quite flavorful, it tones down the beer a bit. Mm. Still strong. Woo, that'll wake you up. Hello. Oh, shall I do a dirty cup? Is that what it's called? And then the oh, poor fit is you have end. to drink yeah. it all. I don't know what that's called. I feel like it's called the Dirty Cup. Yeah. What are you giving these then? Do I even need to ask? Are you literally giving them a 10 out of 10? 12 out of 10. Really? Mm. I'm so surprised by you. so good. I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. Really? In terms of salt and vinegar crisps. Yes. What They're be very your 10 good. Out of 10? Probably those Marks and Spencer really? ones. We've had some other really powerful ones from America. Yeah. Um, I really like these and what I like as well is they've got a strong flavour without taking a layer of skin off your tongue. And you like the ones all mm. folded back on itself. Cape Cod Chris are always quite small, aren't they? Mm. Which is nice. Okay, righty ho. Are you picking this next? Mm. This looks nice. Jai Alai India Pale Ale by the Cigar City Brewing. Ooh. Cigar City Brewing. I like that branding there. Mm. Born in Tampa. Florida. Oh my word, 7.5%. That's pretty strong. That's pretty strong, yeah. Although that's pretty par for the course for IPAs. <laughs> par for the course, playing golf. The merry game of Jai Ally 
provides inspiration for this citrus forward IPA, with notes of clementine, orange peel, and caramel malt creating an IPA that's both bold and approachable. Mm, and Get I'm it? going for Tuckies. Blue heat. Hot chili pepper tortilla chips. Why are they blue? I love the fact that they're blue. It's like, no big deal, no fire, no flames. The, their normal ones look hotter. Hot, yeah. It's like, no, don't worry, it's this fine. They're cool actually really ice, cool. This is cool as ice, like all this water around it. So Maybe I have no cool. clue what these are gonna be and how blue they're gonna be. Also, so many of you in America love Takis. Do you remember we were watching Superstore and they were changing like oh, the vending yeah. machine and Amy was saying there's no Takis in there yeah. or something. Is it Takis, not Taki? Takis. They always sound really like but then I, I think it's because of the American accent. Oh my word. Is it bright red or bright blue? Bright blue. Oh, I just feel like, I, hold on. I feel like your face is getting blue. Probably. That is ridiculous. To the light. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Why are they blue? Is it because they're known for bold colors? Maybe. Because they're like red. Maybe it's just to be a bit different because hot is always yeah. red or orange. So they're like, oh, Do you know what you really could cool. do? Have this with what? the red ones and do a thingy party. The blue pill or red pill. Oh yeah. What is it? Matrix. Matrix. See these, I think are like making it out like, oh, they're not spicy at yeah. all. They've got like stuff on them, like sugar. Yeah, that's the spicy crystals. Do you want a bit of this before you do that? Ah, it's a strong one. Right. Both get one of these. Oh. That tastes like real beer, yeah. doesn't it, to you? Have you got no um, earrings today? I know. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my word, your finger. My finger. I don't want to touch my top. Hot. Lovely flavour though, so far. Really good flavour. Really nice flavour. I want to wait for a second before I say I don't think they're too hot. They're killer. They are getting hotter. The flavour though, as soon as I put it in, it really was lovely. It's a delicious flavour, yeah. yeah. Really nice. I just wish I could handle the heat. I need to get out the kitchen. Lovely flavour. Yeah. Is there like, like a sugar salty... on the top? I don't know. It's like a real salty peppery spiciness, isn't there? That's hot. Blue one lake. Oh <laughs> I word. guess that's the colouring. Do you know what? Um, these are called... I can't believe I'm eating three of these. Oh my word. You know these are hot chilli pepper. Mm. Instead of the red hot chilli peppers, it's the blue hot chilli peppers. Ah, that's why it is. We could create a band. A band. Now, from your memory, do you prefer these or the um, Frago? From what I remember, I prefer these. Yeah, me too. I think I prefer them. The oh, other delicious. ones are just, the other ones are quite limey. Mm. Oh my word, put your tongue out, quite blue. I don't like <laughs> the limeyness. Yeah, really you're like never these. a fan of lime. Um, they're good flavour, but too hot for me. I always see comments every now and then saying how weak um, Brits are at spice. Really? Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, we are, mm. most of the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm. But did you know there's a whole genre on TikTok of people who eat spicy, really, really spicy foods and they don't react at all? So they put like three ghost peppers in. Oh no. With sriracha sauce and then they speed it up so they never cut. They go and then they go and they don't react. Their face never changes. Oh, it's like gosh. a whole, I can't believe it's that. like a whole vibe. Like a chicken korma must taste so bland for them. Yeah. Sorry, got distracted by the hot. Yep. Hot tackies. I've got like a sweaty upper Going lip back to the dry ally. Really nice IPA. Mm -hmm. Really like it. Great flavour. Because you like the Indian pale yeah. ales, don't you? That's like more your drink. Like the ale. I think it's got a really full, really nice flavour. Really delicious. Huh. I Which think is it's funny. Got a very strong flavour. There's a beer I really like here in the UK called Jaipur. Yes. Okay, we've got two beers, we've got two sun chips and a Trader Joe's. Mm. So do you want to do the two sun chips? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now this is exciting. I saw Christina Marie posting about this on Instagram. Little did I know she included a bag for us. Do you reckon it was at the same time? Yeah, I think I think it was around the same time. So this is exciting because I know for a fact that they're Sweet new. Sweet potato and brown sugar. Yes. Ooh. And then this is called Garden Salsa. How cute is that? I love how really they're nice. called heart healthy. These are whole grain. Sun chips always go down well, so I'm really yeah. excited for these flavors. And what beer are we having with this? Um, I think we go skipped for... over that. I know. Banana bread? Banana bread beer. Wow, I've never heard of a banana bread beer before. No. I wonder if you could cook with it. I wonder if they have cooked with it. And this is from Eagle Brewery. Product of UK? Where does it say that? Yeah. Product of UK, produced by Marsdens. I've heard of Marsdens. No way. Eagle Brewery, Havelock Street, Bedford. Imported by St. Killian Importing Co. 170 Market Street, Everett, MA. But the website is .co.uk. Yeah. Cool. This is a twist so it's top. gone. No. no, I was gonna say it won't be. Uh, cheers, Sean and Christina Marie for this. 
Hey. Now, do you think it really will taste like banana? I think it'll have a banana essence, but more of like a caramelized, like is just, it just a smidge, bit? please. Oh, right. Is it more bread? That will do. Thank you. Is it more bread because of like what bread's in bread? Yeah. You know, like wheaty, oh, right. like yeasty. Ooh, mm. I taste the banana. I smell the banana. Wow. That really does have a very slight essence of That's banana. That's really fascinating, isn't it? I didn't realise banana would be quite mm. nice with beer. Don't get me wrong, it's still really powerful yeah. though. What percentage is that? Because banana is like a really like clean flavour, isn't it? That's what you're like getting. And then afterwards you get the kind of bready flavour. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to down that? Yeah, can do. Okay, I think we should go garden salsa first. Whole grain. They've got like a pinky, uh, ready tinge to them, don't they? Yeah. Flavoured malt beverage. Mm. You really can get a tomato -y flavour. I don't know why mm. I wasn't picturing tomato -y when I first thought about them. Wow. Mm. Not like the salsa I was expecting no. at all. They're almost sweet. Mm. These are delicious. Now this is how you should beer taste with a bag of chips. Mm. Everyone with a bag of chips. Mm. They're good with that. Perfect with that. Mmm, wow. That's really nice. Next time we go to America, mm. I'm getting the Frito Lay nacho, mm. but the mild one. I wouldn't expect anything else from you. Mm. That's so good with These the dip. Are delicious. I'm going 10 out of 10. Definitely 10 out of 10. Wish we could get those here. I think Sun Chips are like some of the best chips. No, I'm not sure about these. Yeah. Made with real sweet potato, sprinkled with brown sugar. I'm not sure about the kind of sweet no. idea. But we like sweet potato chips, yeah. so it's more the brown sugar for me. Mmm. It's nice. Like, is this meant to be a, I was a just savory about to snack say, or a sweet snack? I think you need to change your mind and think mm. about it more as a sweet. You know how like popcorn crosses the line? Yeah. I think that's more like it. Oh my word, you really get the sweet potato. Mm. It's like having sweet potato fries. The aftertaste is sweet potato. It's really sweet, but it doesn't. It's not overpowering. No, no. Sweet. I don't think they're that sweet. I do. They're not like sugary sweet, but. There's a real sweet sweetness potato. from the sweet potato. Mm. These are good, so much better than mm. I was expecting. It literally tastes like sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Like, have they made it sweet potato? Dried sweet potato. Mm. Mm. They're really good. Really nice. Are you going garden salsa or these? Still garden salsa for me. They're closer than I thought. Mm. These yeah. are so good. I think these are nine and a half. They're yeah. ten. They're nine for me. Garden salsa is mm. ten. They were delicious. Really delicious. Okay, last but not least. Yeah, beer another wise. handful of Cape Cod. <laughs> That's so good. Because they're quite tangy, they cut through. So this is Stone Brewery, who I have heard of. It's cool that it's upside down, yeah, I think. Yeah, I've never seen Brand do this before. Really? Is that... You not? Know, I thought we had seen something. Really? Yeah. The can upside down? Unless it was like a soda. Hey, I wonder if that's because they're like turning this beer on its head. Yeah, maybe. Because actually, so, see that there? Yeah. In some ways it does also make sense. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Ignore me. This is Stone Brewing. Ah, this is where the difference is, right? This is an Imperial Stout. I really like Imperial Stouts. Right. I don't so much like Stout. Stouts. So I'm excited for this. Inspired by Mexican hot chocolate. Oh, we like mm. that. Yeah, but I don't think you're going to like this. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and today I'm going to pair it with um, the Trader Joe's ketchup flavored spud crunchies. Oh wow. Trader Joe's. So this is like a new Trader Joe's thing we'd never heard of. Never heard of this before and I've never seen a black packaging from yeah. Trader Joe's. It's usually quite bright yeah. or something. So this is really exciting. I think these have got a, um, a style of Frank. Yes. The fact that they have um, faces. And personality. Yeah. So, quite blocky. Although it says now with ketchup flavour, so they must have had something else before. They're seasoned potato snacks. No I'm wondering, free. are these going to be like chip sticks? Yeah. Or are they going to be like bread sticks? I That's don't know. what looks a bit different. I love the fact that Trader Joe's don't go, oh, let's do a new flavour of crisps. They go, let's um, do spud, spud crunchies. crunchies. Spud crunchies, yeah. whoever calls them that. Right, listen to this. There was a time when people thought the earth was flat. Sorry, can I just stop you there? Some people still think the earth is flat. Yes. Let us know down below if you think The time so. is, well, last year it was kind of a big thing, wasn't it? Why? Um, I can't remember who, Logan Paul or someone did a documentary on people who oh, think really? the world is flat. It got big on YouTube at one point. Don't watch it. Sorry, can I just point out as well, the detail oh, on this. Oh, that's really cool. They've got their own ring pull. That is um, like... Such a 
cool detail. Taking things to a next level. There was a time when people thought the earth was flat. So too, it was assumed that crunchy seasoned potato snacks must be enjoyed in the form of a flat chip. But ah. snacks evolve and Trader Joe's ketchup flavoured spud crunchies are here to deliver a potato crunch and zesty ketchup flavour in one highly snackable fry-like shape no dipping required. And look, um, the barcode's in a fire hydrant. That's cool. I, I like this packaging. We always say, don't we, that Trader Joe's have different like yeah. styles. I like this and I love ketchup. Oh my word, they actually look like fries. They're like those fry sticks that you like, are they? No, as in they look like, they actually look potato like fries. Chips. They look like a potato yeah. chip. Yeah, they're actually quite big, aren't like they? Like that, the way it's like chopped, that is literally like, I think it's a chip. Yeah. Mm. Like being dehydrated or something. Delicious ketchup flavour. Mm. It literally tastes like ketchup. Maybe they are like dehydrated potato chips. Mm. I've never tasted anything like this. No. They are cut like chips, and when I say chip, I mean fries. They are cut like fries. Look at them. That's like you get in a in a restaurant or out your freezer. It's like it's been. Maybe it dried. has been dehydrated, like the okra fries. Mm. That is really delicious. Um, you can taste the potato. Mm. And you know like those sugar snap peas that mm. are dried? It's like that. So in some ways it kind of feels a bit airy, but then it's quite nice. And the ketchup flavour is really rich. The ketchup's amazing. It's like a high-end version of, you know, yep. like the Canadian, like, you know, the really thin oh, yes. you know, like little Sticks. strips. This ketchup is like if you go to a restaurant and they don't sell Heinz. Mm. It's like a fancy one. They've made their own. Huh? They've made their own. They've made their own. <laughs> Mm. We don't serve ketchup, but we do serve a homemade mm. tomato, tomato sauce. Rather. <laughs> These are really funny. Like one moment they got loads of flavour, but then another moment they don't have much flavour well, at all. They're almost like drying as well mm. on your tongue. So does this go really good with a beer? This goes really nicely with the Jai Ally IPA. Really? Mm. Oh yeah, you haven't opened that yet. I just didn't think chocolate and coffee no. Imperial Stout was going to go with ketchup chips. So I, uh, I pause proceedings. These are so bizarre. These are literally like having a fry. Oh, this will be fun. Um, oh yeah. Guess what percentage this is. These are so interesting. I feel like these could do with a little bit more flavor, but they're really good. Trust us on this. Put your over the ears headphones, pull out a Supreme Love, put on Dark Side or Spool Up In The Dark. Whatever album or mix that puts you in the zone, your one job for the next 40 or so minutes, contemplation, of what makes beer so damn special. This is you time, available to you all season long. It's in that spirit of sharing we offer you this creation and hopefully many happy moments to come. Hopefully you can hear that because I'm just sat here munching. Thanks for this your help. This is strangely addictive. Guess what percent well, this is? gonna help. That's like nine. 8.1. One. <laughs> oh yeah. my word, that is strong. It's dark. It's chocolate. It's chocolate and coffee. That's like a Guinness. You're like a Guinness. These are so bizarre. Like they're really good, but they also kind of taste like Dry. like wrong that I should eat them. It's like mm. they haven't been cooked yet. Mm. Cheers. Oh, smells like wood fire. You're not going to sleep tonight. Yes. You like that? Yes. That's like my two worst things put together. That is delightful. Coffee and beer. That is delicious. Really? Yeah. That is honestly delicious. Really? Yeah coffee, chocolate, all those kind of like, almost smoky. You know when they say things like, oh, coffee and mm. whatever, you can't usually really mm. taste them. That tasted like coffee yeah. as soon as I put that in. Almost no bitterness. How much like coffee's in there would you say? Is that like know. an espresso's in there or something? Cause it's <laughs> really know. strong. I think they make them in bigger batches than that. <laughs> I don't know. It's a strong coffee flavor. It though, is a strong it? coffee flavor, yeah. Even though I don't like it, I can appreciate that I can really taste that coffee. Mm. I do get some sort of like chocolatey yeah. flavor. It's smooth, it's really dark, mm. and it feels like quite creamy. And that's what I find the difference is between an imperial stout and a stout. I find a stout very bubbly. Right. Whereas with an imperial stout, I find it very smooth. smooth. That was it's smooth. really yeah. smooth, very light on bubbles. Almost like an elixir. It's, it's all like, about the flavor. Like a treacle of flavor. It's Have delicious. another drink, a green elixir. elixir. I wasn't cheersing you, no. I was. I know. Have another drink, 
Agreed, Alexa. Yeah, because some of my favorite, although I generally drink um, IPAs and like pale ales, some of my favorite beers have been Imperial Stouts. Really? Yeah, like, um, is it to all or McKellar do George? And it's like, I've got like a couple of cans or bottles actually there, just like waiting for like a special day. Really? Because yeah, they're like that special. The special day yeah. should, mm. you should hurry up because don't they have expiry dates? No, the thing is with the heavier, more alcoholic imperial stouts, they actually last longer. Oh. They can keep like a wine, mm. things like that. On the IPA side or the pale ale, they, they're generally better drunk, fresher. Mm, fancy. Yeah. A five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I was like, you are prepping for something, and I wasn't quite sure what. <laughs> the, the way you were like trying to get through yeah. Tree of the Week so you yeah. can get to Beer of the I Week. I did my Beer of the Week. Yeah. yeah. I was really giving it like the face because yeah. usually I just live like that, but you know, sometimes it's like, okay, this week's theme is going is to be smooth jazz. Yeah. Okay, a five, six, seven. <laughs> Like different yeah. things with our faces. Creepy, yeah. Okay, I can do it creepy. Yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> <laughs> That's Disney animated. <laughs> um, I know. Yeah, I was thinking um, animated. Emma Stone, Corella Deville. I've not watched it. Oh, yeah, that's exactly Where are the dolls? That's exactly Emma Stone in that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, treat of the week. Um, Quiet Place too. Yeah. Right, should we go food treat of the week, yeah. then beer yeah. of the week? I'm going to have to say, no one's surprised, my treat of the week so are these Cape Cod. Yep. Pink Himalayan salt and red wine vinegar. And my treat of the week is garden salsa sun chips. They're really good. Mm. Really, really good. The sweet potato and brown sugar were really behind, these quite close so behind that. I'm so, so surprised. Good. Right, anyway, beer of the week. Shall I go first while you munch mm. munch? Okay, my beer of the week is Bush Light Apple. Mm. You can finish that. Also, no, have you seen the barcodes like in mountains? That's cool. Really cool. Okay, so that's my beer of the week. Mm. And need I ask, oh, I think it's a toss up between the stout it and the- It is a toss up. I really like this Jai Ally. Right. But I also like this Stone Brewing. I think I'm gonna go for the Stone Brewing. Well, cause you don't always get those as well. No. So I think you should yeah. go for that. So yeah. And the detail on the- Yeah. Living. And although I don't generally drink light beers, I would like to give an honorable mention to the Bush Light yeah, Apple. Yeah, it was because very good, wasn't it? On like a hot day, if you're like out in the park with a few friends, have a cooler full of those. It would actually be really delicious. Yeah, and also, you know how you have shandies? Mm. You could probably have a shandy with these with like a bit of lemonade. No, that is like a shandy. <laughs> I know, but for me... No, you can't dilute that any further. You're I not can. allowed. You're not allowed. I can. That's it. I'll stick to the cooler. That is the jump off between beer and soft drink. The grey area in between, you can't do that. I just had a little touch of Fair lemonade enough. when I was watching. Anyway, Christina Marie and Sean, thank you so much for that amazing box. We're still only halfway through the box yeah. now, so if you want to see part three and four, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, and can I just say, Christina Marie and Sean, you have great taste in beer. Yeah, I, I knew they would, mm. because I know that they, like the without sounding rude, they enjoy like a beer and a drink. Yeah. I hope that doesn't come to rude, That does sounds it? so rude. I just know that they ha ha have enjoyed a bit. They they like a drink. Oh my. I don't mean it like that. I, just I was know. trying to compliment them and you're trying to say they're alcoholics. <laughs> I just know they can appreciate and enjoy yeah. a bit. Unlike me. That sounds like the weirdest backhanded compliment anyway, I've ever heard. Anyway, you picked so well. Thank you so much, guys. We did send Christina Marie and Sean a box of British candy back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's the best way for you guys to support this channel. We've got a whole selection of British goodies to try. Yes, but we hope you guys enjoyed watching today and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.